Japanese scientists have demonstrated progress in the development of artificial skin for hyper-realistic robotic humanoids. Scientists have learned to create artificial skin for robots that closely resembles human skin, using materials like latex or silicone. However, the realism of robots is now reaching a new level. They are becoming true terminators capable of visually copying humans. This advancement is made possible by living skin developed by researchers, which is based on artificially grown living cells. According to the scientists, this skin even can heal itself when damaged, just like regular human skin. The existing artificial skin for robots has several significant drawbacks, with its realism not even being the biggest issue. For instance, it can detach from the body and sag, which immediately ruins the robot's appearance. Additionally, it can wear out or get damaged, requiring restoration. Another issue lies with facial expressions. Artificial skin doesn't behave quite like natural skin, especially during actions like smiling. The new development does not have these issues, and since it is based on cultured live skin cells, it appears more realistic. The main feature of artificial skin made from living cells, as mentioned earlier, is its ability to self-heal. Because of this, it won't wear out just like human skin, and any damage will heal. However, researchers have not provided information on how quickly the skin heals after being damaged. In addition, the authors have developed a reliable method for attaching the skin to the metal skeleton, which will prevent the skin from sagging, shifting during the robot's operation and other issues. According to the study, this skin attachment technology ensures more natural facial expressions. Despite the advantages of the scientists' proposed living skin over all previous types of artificial skin, further improvements are needed before it can be used on robots continuously. The primary focus should be on increasing its strength and durability, and to achieve this, challenges related to moisturizing and delivering nutrients to the cells must be addressed. Researchers are currently working on integrating artificial blood vessels or other systems that will supply nutrients. Additionally, to enhance the mechanical strength of the artificial skin to the level of human skin, the structure and concentration of collagen must be optimized. Clearly, if living skin becomes a reality, scientists will also need to solve the problem of sustaining the cybernetic organism. It is possible that robots will need to be fed nutrient solutions or mixtures containing everything necessary to maintain cell life and division. Engineers from Seoul National University of Science and Technology have developed an intriguing device. What you see is a rather unusual machine that moves through the air. Meet the Polytron, a hybrid of a pallet and a drone capable of delivering your cargo weighing up to 3 kilograms anywhere you need with minimal effort on your part. The Polytron maintains balance, responds to your commands, and skillfully manages its flight even if the load is unevenly distributed. The device only requires your control to know where to go. Interestingly, the developers taught the device to differentiate between the force exerted by the load on the cart and the force applied by a person instructing the Polytron to lower itself. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to have such a device at home to send it to the kitchen for your lunch. Let's move on to other news. The Chinese flying car manufacturer Xpeng Aero HT has introduced a real production version of the modular six-wheeled concept land aircraft carrier. Pre-orders are now available for the next generation of this flying carrier, priced at $280,000. However, the first units will be delivered to owners only in 2026. The 5.5-meter-long vehicle is equipped with an internal combustion engine that charges the batteries and allows it to cover 1,000 kilometers. In the cargo compartment, there's a passenger flying apparatus that can automatically land and dock with the carrier. It can perform five to six short flights, though the exact range hasn't been specified yet. Public testing is expected in November. The Carpentopod is a unique walking coffee table designed by Gilliam de Carpentier, a game developer from the Netherlands. Inspired by Theo Janssen's famous strand beasts, which feature kinetic sculptures powered by wind, Carpentopod takes this concept further by employing a software-optimized leg mechanism. This table is made from laminated bamboo plywood and driven by two brushless motors. It is remotely controlled via a joystick, giving it the ability to walk smoothly across surfaces. The innovative design features 12 legs made from steel shafts, ball bearings, and aluminum crankshafts. The table's gait was fine-tuned through a virtual competition of leg designs, optimizing for balance and material usage.
The Chinese company Unitree Robotics has unveiled the high-tech robotic arm Z1, designed to complement their well-known quadruped robots like Alien Go and B1. The Z1 stands out due to its six-axis harmonic force control, providing exceptional flexibility and agility, allowing it to perform delicate and complex tasks with precision. Weighing just over 4 kilograms, the Z1 robotic arm comes in two versions, Air and Pro. The lighter Air model has a lifting capacity of up to 2 kilograms, while the Pro model can lift up to 5 kilograms. Its precision is remarkable, with an accuracy level of 0.1 millimeters, making it ideal for applications requiring meticulous movements, such as in industrial or research environments. The arm is designed for seamless integration with Unitree's robotic dogs, enabling them to perform tasks like opening doors, carrying objects, and even pouring liquids. Stanford students have introduced an improved version of their robot mobile Aloha, mounted on a mobile platform and equipped with two robotic arms and a low-profile logistics robot serving as the chassis. Weighing just 75 kilograms and standing 1.5 meters tall, Mobile Aloha demonstrated its expertise in unconventional tasks through accelerated and smooth movements. The robot successfully completed actions such as frying shrimp, cleaning tables, washing dishes and arranging furniture. Achieving an impressive 90% success rate in complex tasks like cooking shrimp and calling elevators after joint training, the robot shows potential for performing various functions. Mobile Aloha is equipped with a remote control system that allows users to simultaneously operate the base in both arms. The research team notes that their system also comes at a very low cost of around $32,000, compared to other robots designed for household assistance. IHMC Robotics has developed El Llama, a quadruped robot designed for efficient navigation across complex and uneven terrains. Originally developed in collaboration with NASA, its capabilities were later enhanced through a cooperative robotics initiative with the U.S. Army Research Laboratory. The primary role of the robot is to accompany military units, moving at the same speed as infantry, while traversing challenging terrain where traditional wheeled or tracked vehicles cannot pass. El Llama utilizes advanced sensors like LiDAR to create real-time terrain maps. This robot is particularly promising for military missions and reconnaissance operations in difficult-to-navigate environments. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.